Leon had a very definite goal for the project, being sort of exemplary uh, in terms of an education tool and being exemplary of change because they had a theme that they developed uh, which was called uh, Exploring the Nature of Change. And that informed a lot of what we, we did uh, in terms of the architecture. You know, this, this site itself uh, is a former brownfield right. and it's gone through a stage of transformation and we'll see some of those features in a minute. This is a migratory sort of bird stop, which is a changing condition. We also, as a result, wanted to celebrate the seasonal changes as well and location of the sun and what happens with water as it kind of makes its way onto the site. So where we're standing right now essentially is the entry sort of drop-off forecourt to the building. It's sort of a donor plaza area, parking, feeding the facility. I know there were elements to the building that we wanted to use to, to teach you know, the students because the, the primary goal of this building is education. You'll notice these sort of uh, diagonal elements here uh, running along the building. These are uh, downspouts that come off of the roof. Uh, there are two types of roofs on this building. Uh, there's a membrane roof, uh, and then there's a vegetated roof. Uh, and the membrane roofs slope toward the center, and then the, the vegetated roof is flat. So it's almost like a hill and valley scenario. So at the base of these hills here, we're not absorbing any of the water on the roof, so we need to channel it into the site. We've designed you know, a really unique um, channel here that's corrugated, so it slows the process and it slows the water down we channel that water into a rain channel here that ends up running under this entire walkway here. And so what you're looking at in these stones here is sort of a marking of that. And it gets channeled under um, ground to this opening here that feeds a rain garden. And so all of these feed into a rain garden. So essentially the building is, is feeding the site in a way. And all the stormwater that normally would go into uh, a sewer system is ending up on our site, you know, entirely processed with it. Yeah, well, Design Group, we, we, were, we actually were founded in 1972. We've always done projects that were unique. We've always wanted to do projects that were unique, that helped somebody, that took innovation to do those projects. And so that's really kind of what we've thrived on over the years. This is oriented with a long uh, north-south faces to the building and, and very little on the east and west, just because the, you know, the sun is at the south and the, and the great daylighting is on the north. Uh, and it's hard to screen the east and west. So it really takes advantage of that. And we were able to put it on the site, so it took advantage of the views of the peninsula, of the estuary that, that comes in there. So it really, it worked out very harmoniously to be able to do that the right orientation that worked with the site. And, um, with that, you can see the, the building, how it, it actually is in two bars and then lets light into the middle of that, mm -hmm. that bar too for the circulation space that, that goes through it. Right now we're standing on uh, the furthest south uh, side of the building, the classroom uh, wing and yeah. outside. So the most important thing to happen on this project is to be outside, not to right. be inside. And right. so all these classrooms have uh, these sort of outdoor areas that are somewhat protected. There's a tall uh, overhang above right. and then we have an intermediate sunshade. We looked at doing a roof structure system that basically did both for us. It provided us a ceiling and it provided us a structure. Okay. And it provided us a really nice ceiling in that it's a, uh, it's a tongue and groove wood deck that okay. is uh, basically three and a half inches deep. And so surprisingly, the spans that sure. were allowed to us were actually greater than we would have gotten out of a metal uh, roof deck. I don't know if I mentioned this earlier, but you know, the, the, the site was fill you know, right. over time. Uh, we added clean fill on top of that. So this site actually is five feet higher than the original right. site location. And for that reason, you know, the building's a little higher than the tree. And so to accommodate that, we built basically an open walkway system, in a way a boardwalk, that allowed students to still have space around the tree. And actually the nice thing about it is that it creates a definite room back in this sure. area. And it's a room that has a different character than the room that we were just in, uh, or the entry room. Um, and as you'll see like in a little while, the sort of the panoramic uh, uh, vista room on the north side of the building. 